Yes. Hey, babe. Nothing. I'm still getting my nails done. Still? You act like it's been forever long. It's only been like less than 30 minutes. You're talking like you've been here forever. Still getting my I'm nails almost, done. I'm almost done. Get the hell out of here. Talking about still, like you've been here for hours. Okay, I love you too. Get me crossed in this room. <laughs> what? Who was that? Your boo? Yeah. Well, I'm talking about still, like you've been here for a long time. Well, yeah. I mean, like, you literally only been like 30, 40 minutes. I'm gonna put this white gel polish on first before I do the. And make sure that when you're doing this white gel polish, it's gonna be a non cleanse. It's gonna be a, a sticky gel polish. A lot of people, there's a lot of gel polish out there that are like art gel polish that are cleanse. That means that it's gonna be um, uh, smooth. You don't want it smooth. You want it to be sticky because you need, you need the um, pigment to bond onto here. Then we don't want to be able to. Make sure I don't lose my shape either, okay? Keep that shape when you do that polish. <laughs> Paige, don't talk like that. Yikes. And yo, the viewers over here are saying you, you're probably creeping and telling your boy two hours <laughs> when you were somebody else. Is nah, that, is that what you're doing? Is that what nah, you're doing? I'm not a cheater. Bruh, I never <laughs> even considered that. But I was going to run into the mall right quick. That's why uh -huh. I still get my nails done. Oh, that dude, at, <laughs> that dude at the mall, the concierge, the front desk guy, huh? Is that what you're trying to run over there? No. <laughs> I see him, but no. I'm good. I didn't even know there was a dude that works in the front desk. Now you're in trouble. <laughs> I was just fucking around. You're here, like, confirming everything. He's about to be single after this set of nails. Everybody in the freaking internet, I own your business right now, like... She a liar. Lying ass. Stop moving. Don't be surprised next time your man comes in here, gets his feet done while you get your 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 nails done. I'm gonna talk to him too if he comes in here. No problem. Like, have you been to the mall yet? This is why dudes be getting going to the nail salons with y'all, cause 
Y'all ain't trustworthy. No, I'm just sneaking about some shoes. That's all. Oh, that, that's better. <laughs> just sneaking about spending his money. That's that's a lot better. Bingo. <laughs> he said yes, but still. And you wonder why men don't got trust issues. I remember back in the day when I used to do lives, <laughs> whenever like my clients was like, uh, cause they know, well, my clients know that I'm live and a lot of, like sometimes with their boyfriends call them like, <laughs> they'd like put them on like mute and stuff. I'm like, yo, you know, you want to pick that up? You, wouldn't he be mad? She's like, nah, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> I'm like, right, I don't want to be, uh, you know, in trouble or anything. Like, you know, go home. Like, like, why'd you put me on mute or answer my call and stuff? Gel on here. We're gonna cure it first. We got all these people over here freaking agreeing with your ass <laughs> with the shoes. Do you guys really hide the fact you have to buy shoes from your man? When you have when you buy too many shoes. <laughs> I Sometimes guess. you do. Got dudes over here stressing out like y'all cheating over here. <laughs> Buying shoes. Cheating about shoes. You worry about Jimmy and you're over here thinking about Jimmy shoes. This live went from nails in the comment <laughs> section. It's all like, almost like it's like freaking the shade room up in here. This bitch right now. <laughs> yeah, all these all these girls on here are like literally. I guarantee you, they follow the shade room. Just the way they talking. Screw the nails. He's done doing the application. Now we, we want we want the tea, sis. Who's this front desk concierge at the mall? This is why your application sucks. <laughs> you worry about the, the, the tea more than the nails. <laughs> You really have to just gotta get a nice coat because remember we have to get our pigment on here so you don't really need to get like the white too good it just make sure it's nice and coated and sticky once the pigment and you always want to use white okay never use any darker color because the pigment will bond to white and actually gives you a better look uh it actually bring out the uh the look for you i'm just making sure these deep oval french are nice mm -hmm. you see that hand Stay Stay 
swirls. You guys ever do swirls? Anytime you get around like this, this the where it swirls, it always has to be thicker, okay? When the see it comes down, it goes thinner. Then it goes gets thicker here. That's why that's a way to make the squirrels look good. Like it has to be thicker here. See that? The belly. The belly. Then it goes thinner. That's when the squirrels actually look like squirrels. You can't it can't be one note as in it can't be just like one thickness of a squirrel. It doesn't look good. This is the new this this is actually really trendy. It's kinda of dying off right now. But it's actually really trendy, like literally a uh, couple months ago. Um, once I get my uh, my gel art uh, artist gel in, where it'll be easy for you guys to do these designs, I'll do the swirl design demos for you guys and show you guys how to use the gel art, um, the the liner the liner pens that I have coming in. So yeah, and the one of the biggest reasons like a lot of people mess up on it is they can't do the this alley oop. That swoop motion. It takes takes practice. You'll get it though. You see that has fatter right here? And I'll go in thinner. this up a little bit Should this look nice the way it is but we gotta add a little bit of color here when to use the pigment um, I haven't showed you guys my pigment yet so here all right so we're done with the white gel polish I use my liner brush which is my longest brush no I want a pink and blue right yeah actually nice I'm gonna use my uh this is like you get 12 colors in here this pigment I use pink and blue colors I don't have my pigment brush yet but I'm gonna use my um, oval clean that shit real quick it's cute huh paper towel out. Let me take a hand out. Open up the pigments. Test the pigment out. Okay. Let's do blue first. So I'll just, I'll just transfer over. Cause remember the, the pink is, the um, gel polish is a little bit sticky still. Blend and get yourself a nice ombre. Even for this. 
Kind of gives you a little bit of purple here. That blue is strong. I'm gonna start with the pink first next time. The blue makes the purple right here. I'm just gonna remove some of that. So the pink can take over a little bit here. Oops. Oh no, my brush is wet. I'm gonna start over in this one because the blue is too strong. I'm gonna start with the pink first and blend the blue in. This, if you mess up, you actually just take off like this. Just make sure that that's still tacky. I'm gonna dry my brush. Oh crap. When I wiped it with alcohol, it removed the, the stickiness. Ugh. I gotta redo the white. Hold on, let me finish up this, this, this now first. Later on, I gotta redo this white, get it more sticky, because I took away, when I wiped it with that acetone, I took out the um the pigment the the sticky for the bond. It's actually this blue and pink actually really nice because in the middle when you mix them it makes a purple right here the ombre is. Is that like a purple? Like that. That's nice. Definitely gotta redo that one. So now, to finish with that, dust this off. I'm actually gonna go in and use the white and do another coat of white here. That's literally the only way to bring back that sticky. Right then. Just gonna trace it along here. I'm not too worried about the arch because I'm gonna go through with that with um. Let me see that one. So we're doing the pink first. Wait, let me see the hand again. I did the pink. Like, okay, pink this side. One more time. Okay, pink starts at this side. Let the pink start this side. Remember, I'm doing the pink first because I know that the blue is very dominant. I won't be able to blend it into the... And you can't use gel art white paint for this, okay? It has to be a regular gel polish. This pigment, um, I learned from Tino, that you can actually use it for so much more. As in like, you can mix so many colors. So you saw this pink and this blue mix in. It makes like a nice purple. I got a purple right there. You can use these colors to make to mix so many different colors and then you can mix it with like um, top coat and stuff like that. It looks really, really good. So 
they can make a lot of com com color combinations as long as you know um as long as you know your color wheel look on google get the color wheel See the other thing I'm gonna finish up here. Take on the left side. Spray away this pigment. We're gonna dust it off. And then we're gonna do one last outlining. A gold or a silver or something like that. Clean this up here. I'm not finished yet, I have to outline it. So I am going to grab a rose gold. Gold look good with this? Gold, right? Or silver? Oh, my. Silver? Get my lighter brush back out. I still follow that same sequences in fatter. Look at that. That's nice. 
Hey, silver's a good, good choice. Is that how you get thicker right there in the dip? Woo! Thicker here, thick then, thick, thick then. Saucy. Not like this. That's why I say don't worry too much if you kind of mess up a little bit on the um, the French. You can actually utilize this glitter to make up for it if you have any spots that you know, maybe you didn't get coverage. So I always start out with the where the is thick first because I know I'm gonna put a lot of gel there and then I just kind of use my brush and just kind of lightly go towards where it needs to be thinner and just kind of pull away my brush. So I'll use just the tip of the brush it'll be automatically thinner. And when I get here I just kind of just put a little bit more gel here and just kind of get it back into the thick zone. The sticky icky thicky. And do the same sequence. So it has that same kind of balance of thick to thin, thick to thin. Cause you can't do one note. If you try to do like a one swirly line, it just, just looks really thick. It doesn't really look like a swirl. Look how sexy that looks. See how that goes thick to thin, that's sexy. See, so now you go thinner. Not here, you just go thin. So I'll do this again, look, see? I want to thick here, put big glue, pull away. See that? Pull away. Ah, easy, right? Yes, even you, anybody can do this. Just gotta practice the ability to go thick to thin, to thick again, to thin again. It looks so aesthetically different if you're able to accomplish that, guys. If you guys have done swirls before, just switch over and you'll see the difference in your design will look like. And you can tell someone that does a swirl design that still needs a little bit of work and then, you know, just how you really... When I first started doing swirl designs, that was the same. I try to do everything as like one, one size and then when you do that and you get next to each other, it doesn't look right. It doesn't have that swirl. Go ahead, go ahead. And we're done. We just gotta hit it up with a nice shiny top coat. And you actually bumped this. Okay, I hate you. <laughs> Earlier when you went, yeah, she bumped that. The 
This is why you guys get left red on the DMs. Mm -mm. <laughs> get left on red next appointment. No. At least two days before you get a reply. Ooh, he's cute. Put that in. Thank you. Make sure you dust off any ex uh, all the excess uh, pigment before you do this, okay? You don't want your top coat to hit the pigment. So use the duster, dust off all the excess. Because this will tink, see? You don't see any, right? So I dusted off, and the only pigment that stayed on was just the ones that stayed on to the, the white polish. If you see any pigment onto the brush, it means that you didn't dust it off. This is just using pigments. Um, you can use a lot of colors. You can actually paint the whole nail white and throw a bunch of pigment on there if you wanted to. Um, you can actually do a smoke design in white and actually put pigment smoke, be a neon smoke. That's actually an advanced design that we teach in, in our Chicago class. Switch. Man, tell me how I'm so lazy to, clean, to pack my stuff up for tomorrow. Oh my God. There you guys go. I thank you guys for joining me, and hopefully she didn't get in trouble with her man. <laughs> but as promised, you see that? That will not lift. See how nice and clean those cuticles are? Flushed. When that grows out, it won't lift. It just stays right on the nail. Thank you guys for joining me and all that drama. <laughs> hey, Tania, how are you? This needs cuticle, uh, cuticle oil, but you can see this is so important for the lifts. All right, guys, see you later. Um, see, oh, I'll see you guys in Cincinnati. Next time I see you guys.